I get the say shirt update <coughs> of the radio circuit that I published very earlier. Anyway, I want to give the link in the text box and perhaps it's interesting to show now that I have used here a shortwave coil made on a toilet roll and here you can count all the windings. These windings are made of massive copper wire with plastic um, insulated. They were used for telephone uh, circuits so that plastic has very good insulation properties. Uh, perhaps you cannot uh, buy it or find it anyway, but feel free to make, try to make such a coil with other uh, types of plastic insulated wire with a massive core, etc. And I've done that in the past and also had very good uh, uh, results anyway. So I will go as close as I can get to show the properties of how this can be made. And of course uh, when you are a follower, follower of my channel you know that I make these coils with glue for PVC, say for sewage pipes. Smell is acetone and you can uh, dilute that uh, glue by thinner. Many many videos on my YouTube channel about that. But anyway, let me show it again. Uh, rigid PVC glue. That's what I use always in my radio circuits, both to cover the uh, wooden boards where I make it on with uh, brass nails. You can see all these brass nails here and everywhere. But anyway, uh, uh, it was all about that shortwave coil and I had say uh, a good idea uh, of Rob uh, following my channel, Rob lives in Rotterdam in the Netherlands and he told me say approximately two weeks ago or so uh, well try a shortwave coil. Well that was a very good idea and of course I had many shortwave coils and then I mean uh, antenna coils in store and in the past I've made many radios with such a tank circuit antenna call for shortwave. Anyway, let's listen. Of course with such a setup, that's a TRF setup, so not a super heterodyne setup, the selectivity is always a problem. Uh, Everything and really everything um, is related to the properties of the coil and then I mean the inductance, the stray capacitance, the normal capacitance, uh, etc. etc. Uh, of course we know that between all these windings there is a natural capacitance that bridges for instance, this tuning capacitor could be in the 10 picofarad range, but uh, on the other hand, uh, that plays a, a role when you uh, when we are looking at the quality factor of the coil and the tuning. Anyway, this is a good way to make a short wave coil uh, for 2 megahertz up to approximately 12 megahertz and then I mean the antenna coil not the oscillator coil anyway 
So let's listen again to this radio. My antenna is uh, off now, so I have to reconnect it. I've reconnected it now to the top of the coil and there's also here a tap. You can also use that tap and with that tap there are less windings here that means that you go to a higher frequency but anyway This, of course, means that there is no selectivity. That's the most important uh, conclusion. So, let's look uh, whether we can get some selectivity. I now connect the antenna to the tap. Perhaps there's more selectivity on shortwave now. Yes, there's more, there's more selectivity. I now receive a German radio station and another radio station. Anyway, let's listen. And you can hear at the same time that the selectivity of such a TRF receiver on shortwave is, uh, say, very broad, broad band reception, and only with a super heterodyne, super heterodyne setup, you can get to. Uh, better results. Anyway, uh, there are many uh, schematics on my YouTube channel where I talk about that super heterodyne radio. There are also schematics, precise schematics, and I will try to give the links in the description, the text box. Uh, how to make a simple super heterodyne radio between 2 megahertz and approximately 12 megahertz. Anyway, this is a TRF setup. Let's listen again and perhaps uh, try to find some better results. Anyway. Uneingeschränkte Einsicht in das Personenregister der Opfer durch den Täter verfassungswidrig sei. This is Germany, a shortwave radio station on Ger uh, of Germany. And of course, when you live in another part of the world, I live now in the Netherlands. When you live in America or Australia or China or, say, Poland or whatever, you will receive other radio stations. That's completely normal. And you can, of course, receive uh, radio stations from far away in such a situation. But that depends completely on, say, all the conditions on shortwave, radio reception conditions, the solar spot cycle has everything to do with proper uh, shortwave radio reception, etc., etc. But anyway. Frei und fair. Die UN forderten die Militärregierung in Myanmar dazu auf, den Willen der Bevölkerung zu respektieren und das demokratische System in dem Land wiederherzustellen. Der 
and it's a phenomenon phenomenon that you often see uh, there are say there is a possibility of a proper reception of one or two radio stations on shortwave but when we with this setup the TRF setup uh, when the uh, tuning capacitor gets to its highest so, uh, uh, not the smallest value all kinds of radio stations mix together and you will receive them together and that's what I wanted to show now so for instance here all kinds of radio stations together but when I tune the parallel capacitor to the tank circuit I can say discriminate two separate radio stations let's do that Uh, fearful uh, German radio station that could be received properly with this TRF not super heterodyne setup. And here, already on, say, a certain part of the, the tuning capacitor, two radio stations from abroad mixed together. And you can hear that. Now at the moment that radio station is more fierce that has everything to do with the so-called fading on shortwave. So some radio stations pop up more fierceful and then within say one minute, two minutes go back to zero etc. So the only say fierce radio station that I could receive with this shortwave call was that a uh, German radio station that is of course in uh, not say approximately thousand kilometers away or so and all the other stations are at least that's what I think 1500 kilometers away uh, 3000 4000 10,000 kilometers away etc anyway has everything to do with the properties on shortwave uh, the so-called propagation radio propagation there are radio propagation tables for shortwave listeners on the World Wide Web and in the past they were published in radio magazines perhaps even now anyway so that was a video about all the properties kind of properties uh, when you are listening to shortwave or whatever radio stations the same properties can happen uh, when you listen to radio stations on the medium wave say between 600 kilocycles and 1.6 megacycles where you live in the world could be everywhere Asia America Europe etc etc uh, you can receive different radio stations on different times 
especially when it gets dark, the shortwave radio bands pop up, give better reception results and even the medium wave radio bands give better reception results. Anyway, thanks for watching.